Hey guys, this is Rob with Snaggletooth Tactical and Alien Scales here. Today we got a mail call, and inside this box, this is from our buddies at EDC Specialties in Gold River, California. And it so happens his name is Rob also. So, edcspecialties.com, check them out. All American made EDC gear and knives. Great bunch of guys. They sell the Snaggletooth as well, because we are all American made. So, we got ourselves a bench made. And in this box, we have an orange mini bug out. I need to see if the Snaggletooth AL Mini fits on a mini bug out. And then I'm giving this to my nephew as a graduation gift. So um, let's get into the install on the, uh, on the mini here, all right? All right, guys, so we're gonna get to the install on the mini bug out. What I love about installing on Benchmades, it's how easy it is to remove the thumb studs. The thumb studs, you have to be careful, they are aluminum, but you just need a T6, and sometimes you need two to loosen it up. And beautiful, how easy it is to remove these. So you're gonna set the male side aside, because you don't need it. And then we're gonna go into the kit, what comes with the kit here. So, this is a Snaggletooth mini kit, righty. You get your orange Snaggletooth. You get a universal thumb stud and screw to match, which we will not need here, because we will be using the Benchmade thumb stud. The tubing to aid in removal and assembly, which you don't need. Inside this little packet, we have two screws and a washer. The longer, thinner screw is for cold steel thumb studs, for the majority of them. And the shorter, stouter screw is for bench made. It's a 440 by quarter inch, and it threads right into the OEM thumb stud. Okay, so let's get into the install. So I'm not sure if this will work because I've never installed on a mini bug out, but this is our test. So put the snaggle tooth in place, run the screw through it. Now, we're gonna tighten it up. We're gonna just start threading. Be careful, it's aluminum. Don't over tighten. Okay, so here's where you need two. You're gonna need to start tightening both sides. And actually, I need a Allen key on this side now to finish tightening up. Now what you wanna make sure is that you're sitting on the spine of the blade. And we wanna make sure we don't have any clearance issues once this is tight. Let's take a look before we fully tighten it. There's the access lock. And it just clears. Beautiful install. So now I'm gonna go ahead and snug it all the way up. So we include the Allen key. So you'll need a T6 on one side, and then the Allen key, make sure it doesn't move. And it actually, I mean, it actually looks like it rests right on top of the scales there, but it is a good install. It sits nicely, nice and tight. So let's try it in the pocket and see how this works. All right, guys, that's it for the install. It's pretty simple. I do want to let you know that there is a slight interference on the scale with the Snaggletooth Mini. Uh, we're going to try to shorten that up on the next run when we machine them. But as far as the install, it's still great. As you see, there's no problem opening the blade. But when you go slow, you will feel it a little bit. Um, in my opinion, it's not anything to really be concerned about, but we will fix that going forward. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, let us know how you like these videos, and remember, don't be left toothless.